Maybe so. Like a rocket gonna blast off. Watch me go. Yeah, yeah. Say my name. Haters gonna hate, but I'm hotter than the game. So hot. Hello, bye bye. Everybody looking at me, but I don't mind. Cause dang, straight righteous as what? Hungry like a wolf, gonna get me some. Come on now, let's work. Come on now. Come on now, let's work. Check it out. I don't know why it takes a while. It gets stuck, but I promise I'm coming. Okay, there it goes. I don't know why it does that, but something. Someone tells StreamYard. It gets stuck right there at the end. Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I'm Katrina Harris Earl, National Sales Director. Today, I'm coming to you from my bathroom. Got a whole lot going on up in here. Every single Saturday, self-care. It's all about self-care Saturday today. And so I'm excited for you guys to um, hang out here. And uh, you, we are going to have some fun today. I have guests with me, which is cool. I know what the difference is. I got a new camera and I'm not using it. No wonder it's so fuzzy. This is how I've been looking all pandemic. And then I got a new camera. So I forgot to use it today. Probably need to grab that because it's high definition. We'll see if it makes a difference. But we are so excited that um, we're going to talk about these gorgeous, amazing colors. Gorgeous, amazing colors. We're talking about our brand new products that just hit today. Get excited. The 15th. If you are a beauty consultant and you've ordered them, um, then this is so exciting. We talked last week about the multi-use must-haves. If you are a guest, please type in the chat and tag your beauty consultant. We've been talking about our Meissler Water OMG. I just got through using it. And today we are doing a wink into pink. And we're going to talk about our warm and our cool colors. And so um, in Katrina fashion, I was not pre-ready. Normally I would have had this up, but here we go. Let me see if I grab the right one. I'm going to share a little video with you and that's the wrong one. Get excited. I thought I grabbed the right one. <laughs> Normally I have this ready. Um, and I normally have it ready in advance, but if you know how many deadlines we got going on up in here as we break this record, here we go. You can watch now. It's Costco, and today I'm so excited to talk to you all about these beautiful limited edition Mary Kay pink eyeshadow quads. These quads are particularly special. Katrina, you need to unmute. Katrina, the sound is muted. You're sitting there thinking pink eyeshadow just isn't for you. Think again. It all comes down to application and the intensity with which you apply the shades. These eyeshadows have a beautiful texture and can easily be blended to look flawless on any skin tone. <laughs> The trick is to complete. Now, Hold why on. Do do that? I am starting because it over. I am starting it over. This is what happens when you do too much in the background. Neutralized. Today is the day that you see 
the national doing a whole lot in the background. Get excited. So I didn't share the video. I did not share the audio. So I'm starting it over for our guests. Get excited. I love for things to go off without a glitch and that did not happen. So here we go. But something is wrong, Dorothy. It won't let me. Oh, I have to add the video. Hold on one second. I'm trying to do it again. Just when I thought I shared the audio. Oh, gosh, hold on. Okay, here we go. And we are going to do this. This is why I stay at my desk, y'all, where I have three screens, because it is much more difficult to do this when you don't have all the screens going on. Okay, so I'm going to turn my volume off and give me a thumbs up, Vanessa, if you can still hear when I show it. So here we go. Hi guys, it's Luis Casco, and today I'm so excited to talk to you all about these beautiful limited edition Mary Kay pink eyeshadow quads. These quads are particularly special to me because I was able to partner with the amazing Mary Kay team during their creation. First up, we have the warm pink squad. Think of the warm undertones in this squad like gold jewelry. Depending on your skin tone and undertone, gold jewelry might blend in more subtly with your skin, or it might make more of a statement. On lighter skin tones, the warm tones of this quad will add even more drama and contrast. On darker skin tones, these shades will blend seamlessly by mimicking the tones you already have in your skin. Next, I wanna show you the Cool Pink Squad. Opposite from the warm quad, the cool undertones of these shades can be compared to silver jewelry. On lighter skin tones, the cool pinks will blend seamlessly and look beautiful. And on darker skin tones, these cooler shades will create more of a pop or highlight of color for a really fun finish. Now, if you're sitting there thinking, pink eyeshadow just isn't for you, Think again. It all comes down to application and the intensity with which you apply the shades. These eyeshadows have a beautiful texture and can easily be blended to look flawless on any skin tone. <laughs> the trick is to complete any look with your favorite mascara and even some eyeliner. Now, why would you do that? Because the black or brown contrast will help to automatically neutralize the pink shadows by giving more depth to the overall look. So don't get worried mid-application. Wait until your look is complete to see how the pink eye shadows really work. And then prepare for the compliments. <laughs> but first, let me give you a little inspiration. This first look is all about creating a slight smokiness and rounded shape using the pink tones in three different shades. It can be created with either quad and can be adjusted to any comfort level by deciding how dark you want to go. Simply take the darkest shade of your choosing and apply it right at the base of your lashes. Then use two lighter shades to blend the edges and create a seamless look. This second look is simple, but still provides some impact. Take one of the two lighter shades in the quad and apply as a wash of color all over your lids. Then use the darkest shade to line your lower lashes. Follow with two coats of mascara to finish it off. This is a great look for women with smaller or hooded eyes because the most drama appears on the bottom lash line. That's a great trick right there. Now for the next look, we're going to get a little bit more playful. Take this second shade from the left in the warm pink squad and use it to create a slightly winged liner look. Then apply the lighter matte shade on the lower lash line. This creates a beautiful sparkle on the top lids and a smoky matte finish on the bottom. And finally, for a look that really makes a statement, define your creases and wing it out into a bold cat eye. Then use one of the two lighter shades in the middle of the quad all over the rest of your lids. 
You can also carry the darker shade right under your lids to create an even smokier look. And of course, with eight total shades to play with, there are endless other looks to be created. But I hope these looks help inspire you to give pink eyeshadow a try. I really can't wait to see all of you rocking it. Okay, I did it that time. I did it, I did it, I did it. Well, I'm gonna bring to the stage these amazing women that are going to do eye makeup with me and you are going to see them. Sales director, give it up for my homegirl up the street, Camila Mayo, and sales director, Susie. Let's give it up for Susie Borg, yay. And let's give it up for soon to be sales director, Vanessa from Chicago. So why don't we just get you ourselves first? Y'all just say where you are, what you're doing, and uh, what you're working on right now for Mar your Mary Kay goals. So Camila, go first share what you are working on. And I know one of the things is we're having a party in the park today. So we're yeah. so excited to get to see some people. We're still gonna be masked up. I don't know about the rest of the world, but yes. So yeah. go ahead, Camila. Great morning, great morning, everybody. I am confident, cool, and collected Camila Mail from Antioch, California. And I'm so thrilled and excited because I am a new sales director and I'm shutting down my very first unit club. And what that means is that our unit is selling over $300,000 in less than one year as a unit. Get excited. I'm also excited because we are bringing, yes, another pink Cadillac to the Bay Area. And one of our fabulous directors, Angela Davenport LaMail, recently brought one to the Bay Area. And so I'm so excited to join her in that sisterhood of pink Cadillacs. So yes, I'm thrilled to be here and to show you guys how to create a beautiful, sultry, smoky pink eye, because that is what is trending at the moment. Yes, follow me on my regular profile. Um, I might share it over here too, but follow me on my regular profile, Katrina Harris Earl, because today we'll have a couple Cadillacs out there and some other Mary Kay cars, and it'll be a lot of fun in the park. So Susie, 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 I'm so glad you are here. And Good morning. You're gorgeous. You've got those um, looks in the back. That's awesome. Introduce yourself and tell them what's going on in your Mary Kay world. All right. I am Sensational Sales Director Susie Borg, proud director of the Sparkling Unit. And we've been a unit, oh my gosh, forever, uh, since 1991, 92, a long time. And we are shutting down the uh, unit club this year. And I have a lot going on. Just uh, debuted as a new director. So I'm a senior director. And yeah, it, I mean, it's exciting. A lot of stuff going on. I, I, I'm embracing COVID. I'm loving it. <laughs> so yes. what can you say? But we do have a lot of uh, great looks for you, some tips, some tricks. Uh, so stay with us and we will um, just sparkle you through, through the afternoon. I love it. And the um, what Susie has behind her, those are examples of looks that uh, clients, your beauty consultant can send you and you can practice too. I'm not gonna take time to show them, but they're right in InTouch under Product Central Consultants. If you scroll down to supporting materials, you'll see them and it's literally paint by number. We're not gonna paint by number because we just are gonna paint and <laughs> get excited. <laughs> But that's an example of what it looks like. And that's a great way, you guys, to use those looks and jump on a shape up your makeup with your clients on Zoom and um, just let them have the colors and you guys practice and play together. So Vanessa is coming on board. Y'all know I live between California and Chicago. And in Chicago, we did a Wow Chicago Live. Now we do it once a month right here on um, my fan page. But Vanessa was a loyal red coming and cel being celebrated at our Wow Chicago. And you are moving into directorship. Yay, yay, yay. So introduce yourself, Vanessa. Hi, I'm Vanessa serrano Fettis here in Chicago, future sales director, which I'm so excited. Um, and I just, I love makeup. I love everything about Mary Kay. I love teaching women how to take care of their skin and how even as adults, we could still play with our makeup. So I'm just excited just to start playing with these new colors. Yes, this is awesome. This is awesome. So we are just freestyling it, y'all. We're not super, super, super scheduled. And so what's the first thing we're doing, you guys? We do have foundation on. What do you guys have on already? I have on foundation. I put on concealer. I did a little contour. I apologize. My lighting's not the perfect blend here, but um, it is what it is. And so that's what I have. And I, I wax my brows. I'm still doing a little bit at home. I'm still a little of a wuss at uh, <laughs> letting folks get too close. And um, so what do you have on Susie? 
So I have on foundation, and then I did, uh, while you were fiddling with your brows over there, I added a little bit of brow because I was looking, I, you could not see my face at all. I, I was in the background. So, and I will touch those up a little bit, but I, I needed to come forward a little bit. <laughs> Awesome. And Camila, you've been working. You got some stuff going on. What do you have already? You look like you got eyeshadow on already. <laughs> You're muted, Camila. <laughs> my apologies. Yes. So, no, I actually muted my eyebrow, eye uh, lids, excuse me, with our under, under eye corrector because what I have is um, a little bit of a darker pigment here. So, if I try and add a, uh, you know, a smoky eye to that, it's just, I mean, it'll look, make it look more intense, but I'm trying to go for that pink smoky eye. So I really want the color to pop. So what I did was I did under eye corrector over my entire under eye and lid. So that way it helps to mute it out. And then that way the colors will really pop before I put my, um, my big. So tell me where the under eye corrector is, Camila. I literally put it on my entire eye area. So under the eye and on the lid here. So literally this whole area here, I did add, because I did some contouring. So I did add a darker brown um, here. I think it's espresso. Yep. Just to it. help contour me a little bit, but my eyes were, yeah. Oh, and you go all the way in. That's cool. That's a whole other class. That's awesome. Awesome sauce. And Vanessa, what do you have on already? I have C, well, primer, of course, CC cream, my luminous foundation and mineral foundation with under eye corrector, the same reason underneath my eyes for the dark circles, but I, you can really see my veins. So I like to put it on top of my lid to kind of help mute out those veins. Awesome. Awesome. This is cool. Okay. So where does everyone start? Because sometimes even with makeup, we start differently. And honestly, a lot of makeup artists that you go to y'all, they well, almost every makeup artist I go to does my eye makeup before they do my foundation. I never do it that way, but most um, makeup artists, a lot of times they do that. So where do you guys start? What's your first thing you're going to do? You know, I try to do that and I, I, I mess it up every time. I have to do my foundation first. Yeah. It, it just, it doesn't work out. And then I go ahead after my foundation, then I do concealer and I do, I do the under eye and then I do, uh, then I do concealer and then I do primer on top of the concealer. Okay. Because I find that I, I just cannot, primer or I, I, prim I, I primer, I primer. Yeah. I'm so I, I do the under eye. I should say corrector. So I do corrector and then I do concealer and then on top, and I do correct, and, and like the other girls, I do it all the way around. Because as you can see, I have the deep, dark allergy circles, and I have deep set eyes. And then I do the primer on top of all of that. Because if you put the primer underneath, everything just slides around. It slides all over. Okay. Like I can see a lot of heads nodding. Yep, put that primer <laughs> on the go. very top. So we are just going to pretend like we're in our own bathrooms, and we're going to do it what we may not be on the same step at the same time because we do it differently. And that's what's cool about makeup is <laughs> it's your thing. Do what you want to do. And so your beauty consultant can help and support you. So we're just going to talk as we do it about what we're doing. And the one who's uh, got the most intricate thing might get highlighted. I am um, going to start with some lash primer, some um, eye primer on my lid, even though I put a little bit on before. And so just... Where are you starting? I start with eye primer and I always use the cream color brush Ooh. because it allows for it to go on nice and smoothly and evenly. Okay, Susie, you are, what are you using to apply it? You're using the larger foundation brush. Yes. For more foundation or for? So this is with the um, under eye corrector. Okay. You're and I have it, I always put it on the back of my hand so that I can just get a little teeny bit because I find otherwise you get too much and then it gets creaky, crepey underneath there. You can just get no, the littlest I'm bit here. that way. Okay, I have never done it with a brush and that might be why I can't control the amount. There you go. You just get little feathery strokes that way. Yeah. Okay. And, and look at the difference just with one application. And that's with no corrector yet. Big difference between the two eyes. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Mm -hmm. And Hi. Vanessa? I have um, the eye primer on my eye brows as well because I use espresso 
So I use like one of the darkest, okay, this is backwards. All right, I use the darkest color just for my brows because I just want to fill it in and just shade in some of those spots. So with the primer, it helps keep it on a lot longer. Okay, okay. And I always start with my brows. It just frames the face for, for me. <laughs> awesome, okay. And then go brush. Keep, keep going. All right. Yes, so I'm doing the same thing. I'm going with the eye primer underneath the brow because I'm going to be putting color on the entire eye area and I want it to pop and I want it to hold and I want it to not crease throughout the day and we're here in sunny California and it's going to be hot today <laughs> so I don't want to sweat this stuff off right hey um, I love about I'm up in Washington we don't want to hear about that well sorry <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's overcast here in Chicago too so <laughs> well you don't like to rain off either you know you don't want it, the rain to wash away either so <laughs> wherever you are in the world or in the country you know, you still want to use these things because our pores, our body, you know, we we deal with the weather, we deal with our body chemistry, our body temperature. So it's really important that we use these primers because it's going to allow them to stay on and to really shine. We want these colors to shine. So I have put on actually two coats just to make sure I didn't miss a spot. <laughs> and um, I honestly also, as a precursor, I use our finishing spray as well, because that's just one more adhesive because it really helps everything to stay on. So I'm gonna go ahead and do finishing spray first and last, get excited. I did the primer first and then I'm gonna do it, the spray, and then I'm gonna finish with the spray again. So do you wait to, for your primer to dry at all and spray? I, I usually don't. I usually just slap on the primer and then spray. Is that how you do it also? Yes. Mm -hmm. Because these things, they actually dry pretty quickly. You don't need like a lot of down or lag time. So it's pretty cool. So if you're following along, these are tips that we literally do each and every single day. And I get compliments and questions. I do a lot of makeup. I did a photo shoot last weekend, a bridal party two weeks ago. I have a photo shoot next week. I do makeup all the time. So if you're trying to get that professional glam look. These are things that we literally do. So um, this is the first step is the priming, priming and prepping. Okay. Yep. And I'm actually going to use um, one of our blossoms, just kind of one of our lighter colors. I don't know if you guys could see it right there. This one, just I'm going to put that all over my lid just to kind of give me that nice even canvas before I start with the new colors that are so amazing. Oh my goodness, I was playing with them with my daughter and they are so pretty. So these are the warms are on top. Oh, this way. And then the these are the cools and then these are the warms. They are so pigmented that a little bit really does go a long way. So I'm really excited about that, but it's gonna give me a nice even canvas for that. Lots of brushes. You need lots of brushes, y'all, lots of brushes. And so of course, I know you ordered this amazing brush holder. So yes. lots and lots, and you got a lot of brushes in there. I gotta try to do that. And your brush cleaner, you gotta, cause otherwise you're carrying the color yeah. over and over and over again. So yes. brush cleaner. I, I even carried a towel on my lap just to kind of brush some of it off. Yes. I'm looking it up as I go, y'all. I'm taking, I don't even know what color this is. Y'all can help me out. Whatever <laughs> color I think that is right there. <laughs> yeah, beautiful pink. I think that's hints of pink, yeah. Okay. It's a cheat color. I'm just putting a touch of it all over just to create a base because I just want it to be the top more. Now, another thing that I use to prep also in Prime is our amazing liquid eyeshadow um, because this one is going to really also allow for the colors to pop. So I'm going to go back to my cream color brush and just add a tiny bit, like what Susie was saying earlier, like a little bit goes a long way. You don't wanna to put too much, so I'm gonna put just like one sheer layer of our light beam, this is called light beam. This comes in four different colors. I'm gonna use this on my lid only, just because I'm doing a smoky eye and I really want that pink to pop. So I'm gonna just put that right on top, just one sheer thin layer. Okay, and that's interesting because I'm using the pink starlight and I'm doing it just up under the brow to give lift. Nice. And then today I'm going to line my eye with the pink as well because I'm going to do an all over pink smoky eye. So I'm going to put it underneath there as well. 
For that, I'm going to use the smudge brush because this has a nice little pointy tip. So you're able to really get down in here and like get it like really nice and neat. I am using this lightest one here. Get excited. This is what happens when you're in national. Um, this lightest one. <laughs> in the Sorry, one Mary Kay, don't ask me all the color names, but I can point to them real good. Okay. Cause I got, <laughs> so I just put, I'm making it real pink right on my lid. And then I'm going to going to add depth and, um, the, the denseness of the brush and the shortness of the bristles makes a difference in how it goes on. So you got it. You start learning your your um, brushes and what they do for your your eyes. Okay. So I got these colors late last night and I only had a chance to play with them with my daughter. So I'm just kind of weaning it as I go. So I'm going to use. A, I don't know what this color's called. I think. Yeah, you guys can help me out. It's this pretty gray one right here. And I'm going to mm -hmm. use it as my base before I go in with the pinks. Mm -hmm. I don't know what color it is, but it's a matte color because all these other colors that we have are shimmering. Oh, it's cashmere haze, cashmere haze. So and I'm just going to kind of use that on my crease because I have a deep set eye. So my eye like, you know, pops in um, and I have a little bit of a hood. So I want to put it right above. So my brow bone is right here. So I kind of want to put it right there and not actually on the hood. I'm using my angled brush and just putting it on. Now, blending is key. It ain't going to look pretty in the beginning, but once you blend it out, it's going to look really nice. And then you add your mascara, it's going to make it pop even more. And I always try to follow the bottom part of my line. Okay, so here's my lash line. Do not go past it or else you're going to give yourself a droopy eye. So you kind of want to create the line to go up a little bit more to give yourself more lift on that corner. I'm doing the windshield wiper effect right in my lid. I'm using Smoky Plum because it's such a mix it in. I'm going to put, um, I probably could have used, let me try it on the, the coolest one. So I'll try that one also, but it might be too um, sparkly. So I'm going to put the Smoky Plum in here and then blend in some of that other one. So I'm into the pink colors and the pink colors are, are pretty shimmery. And so I put the very lightest one right in the super corner, right in here. Uh, again, I have deep eyes, so that brings it out. Light always, uh, dark recedes and light brings out. So that will bring my eyes out. And then I'm bringing the number two, number two color. And it's kind of a rusty color. It's a rusty shimmer color. And I'm putting that all over my lid. The thing that um, you can kind of get uh, caught up with these colors, there's a lot of uh, glimmer to them. Be careful and, and like um, the girls are doing, use some other matte tones with them so you don't turn out to be a, a disco ball. <laughs> and that, that's and it's, it's so you get so excited about them and they're so pretty and they're so sparkly and they're so uh exciting however don't be a disco ball unless that's the look you're going for and yeah. more power to you and it's yeah. all great it's like and so also make sure you're changing brushes. I've, I've talked to people throughout the years and they're like, I just use one brush for everything. Um, <laughs> if you want to make sure um, if you have to do that, please just clean the brush in between because it's going to make a big difference. You're going to carry the cover, carry the color, and then it's not going to pop because you have like, you know, the same color on every brush and then you're not cleaning it. So then it's not going to come out right. Um, what the what I love about the Mary Kay brushes is that each and every brush is labeled so I know exactly what brush I'm using. This is the all over brush. This is our new eye blending brush, which helps us to blend amazingly. And so just make sure you're reading what's on the brush itself and you're using the appropriate brush. And if you're like, I don't know what the heck to do, um, just watch this tutorial, watch tutorials and you know get educated and you'll be more and more excited to do your makeup because you're gonna get more and more better at doing it. And don't be afraid to mess up. Because it's just makeup, it's gonna come yeah. right off. Like absolutely, just play with makeup. Yes. And this is an old Mary Kay blending brush, so I am so excited that they finally came out with the new one yeah. and the bundle. Because that little bundle is so adorable to put all your brushes in and your mascaras 
and your lip glosses. So yeah, one, two, or three, however many you want to get. I'm using the same color, but two different brushes. And because of the denseness of the brush, it's how intense it's going on. So I put the I put that same, the darkest of the burgundies, I put that same one in my um, right here, but it's going on much darker. And if you wet the brush, it'll go on even darker. So yes, I'm trying to see what happens when I stick. Now, brows are everything. Mm -hmm. I want to brows. I didn't do a good job because I was rushing. So I got to finish it up. Um, so the brows really make a difference in your look clean brows, so learning how to clean them up like really important. So I'm using the fourth one right on top of where I did the cashmere haze from the cool side, which is like a nice, really pretty deep purple. And I'm going to look a little like a Maleficent for a minute, but once I blend it out, it'll look good. Now, what's your eye shape? You have a deep set eye, Vanessa. I do. I have really an average eye. What do you have, Camila? Yeah, I have standard eyes. I'm standard. And so deep set is my favorite. It looks the best. On <laughs> really? <laughs> you have more lid to yeah. work with. And um, I feel the opposite. Like I like more of the white, like the standard eye, especially like Camila's eyes are so pretty and wide. Like you could make the colors pop. So I feel like my colors are always hiding. So I have to really make them stand out but thank you <laughs> when you get very mature having your own mirror that you can flip on both sides makes a huge difference mm -hmm. gloria has one that she uses that is a suction that um you can travel with too when we are traveling a lot more and so i have one of these now what i did is i blended probably more than I would have. And now I'm looking at it, I've blended it really a lot. So depending on how much you blend, make up your friend as long as you blend, it's gonna create a totally different look. Yep. I've blended almost all the shimmer away except for right on my lid. Um, so yes. And for my smoky eye, I've done the two darker colors in the warm tones here. So I've used, um, both the matte dark one on our warm. So it says here on, on here, warm pink. So um, I've used the dark one on the far end, which is matte. And I put that here in my crease. You never really want to put shimmer. I mean, you can, but like what <laughs> Susie was saying, that disco ball thing is real. So, you know, if you want to tone it down, I would suggest you want that gl glittery look and also to help the glitter to really pop, put the matte in your corner. Mm -hmm and then put the glitter on your lid. And then that way it's gonna create cr contrast and then it's gonna really help the glitter to pop. I'm using this, um, the most iridescent color and I'm putting it right in, right in that water line on the inside, right there. I'm gonna blend it. Yeah. The other thing to stay away from the disco look, you can do two glimmers but use one wet and one dry. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people don't realize you can use all of our, our shadows wet. And I just did that underneath. I used that lilac color, which is shade number three. And I used it wet underneath as a liner. And that if you have a hooded eye, if you have a lot of color underneath, that kind of helps the hood lift. And when you're doing your eyeshadows, because a lot of us kind of like raise our eyebrows, relax your eyes so that you can see where they truly fall. Because if not, you're going to have one that's a little, you know, a little crooked or a little deep in. So because for me, it's like, wow, it looks nice like this. And then I go like this. I'm like, oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> but blending is key. Blending is your friend. Yes. Yeah. And I'll tell you also, if you're trying to line with powder instead of with an eyeliner, this brush again is amazing because it's pointed. So I get, I spray it first with our setting spray because this is gonna liquefy the eyeshadow. Mm -hmm. Spray it down really good and then you just sweep it across. I'm gonna go with the color here in the center closest to the darker one. And it's also matte. I could do this one with the glitter one. I could do it with any of them actually. 
but it usually looks better. I wouldn't necessarily line my under eye with a lighter color. I always want to go with the darker one because it's going to allow the other colors on the top lid to pop and it also helps my lower lashes to really pop. So you know how like sometimes you can really see your lower eyelid lashes. That's a lot of times because you're shading down here and it's uh, making the illusion and the appearance of a fuller lower lid lash. I'm using the liquid eyeliner pen. Sometimes I do it thicker, sometimes I do it thinner. I am probably one of the people that's the fastest at doing my makeup. <laughs> I like to be in and out in 10 minutes. Ain't nobody got time. I'm on so many lives, but I know how to take an hour when I need to, and it makes a difference. It makes a difference. It does. Uh, I just uh, created a concoction on the back of my hand of um, eye primer and our under eye corrector, which is amazing because I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put it on the top part of my lid because I want the cool pink to really pop. And I'm using an old Mary Kay cream brush. So I, this is one of my favorites. I love it. <laughs> I'm just kind of putting it right in here. Almost kind of like that whole cut crease that's really popular right now. Mm -hmm. So I was researching cut creases. There are so many different types of cut creases to do. So this may not be the way that you do your cut crease. This is the way that I kind of do it, that I've been playing with it because my daughter looked at me. She's 17 and she's like, yeah, it looks okay. <laughs> <laughs> but so you work with whatever works for you. Yeah, if you want honesty, my daughter's 16. And if you don't have any teenagers, call her. <laughs> yep. We can our daughters together. If you need if you need an honest opinion, call a teenager. They will they will tell you. They'll let you know. A young person. Especially oh, yes. one that loves makeup. Yes. And my daughter actually loves this because they are very pigmented. So as you can see, as we are putting these on, like they are coming through, like seriously coming through. And it's not even that much color that we're putting on our brushes. I know I'm not. Yes. No, they are so highly pigmented. And on that pen that uh, Katrina was using, if you want a smokier look, use your, uh, your uh, brow brush and spray, spray a little into your hand and then get the brush wet and then use it right on the, the gel. Just use it on the pen and then you can just get a little smokier look. And then it stays so nicely. I like and then that. it opens them up. Just lined under my eye. And there we go. Okay. And there's always one I do better. In the bathroom. <laughs> What'd you say? I feel like we're at seminar in the bathroom getting ready. Yeah. Aww, I know. Be ready. Be ready. Now, if you're not comfortable with eyeliner, again, this is one of those things that you just take your time and you really just relax. And, you know, same like what um, Vanessa was saying earlier about the eyebrows, just relax, relax, because you don't want to be tense putting on eyeliner because that can make it bumpy and un uneven. So I'm going to use our eyeliner pencil here. And I'm just going to pinch my eye back just gently like this. And I'm just going to go from the far end corner closest to my ear and just gently do a small line, a nice even line as close to my lash and into my lash. And then just go from corner to corner and do a nice even line. I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom. I'm cracking myself up. My brows are not... Um, perfect today by any stretch of the imagination, but still one, just doing them. <laughs> one eye brow looks like, and the other one looks like, help me, help me. <laughs> you must work on your brows. So I'm doing that really pretty pink in the cools, just right on top of where I did that quick cut crease. And I'm just kind of just tapping it on because with the uh, under eye corrector and the primer is just gonna make it stick. So it looks crazy right now, but wait till you see the mascara on. I hope one of the best things people get is don't be scared. And seriously, makeup is like fashion. So you can have your own, your own everyone style. has their own style, their own brand. So you figure out what it is for you. But um, y'all, we need to look, and eyes are everything. 
Um, Especially with the mask. The mask. Yep. So. And for you really fair skinned girls out there, don't be afraid of these. Uh, mix them with a little bit of your, um, oh, where's it? your translucent powder. If you feel like, you, if you don't want to look like a, a bunny uh, because you're feeling like you're too pinky eyed, mix them with a little translucent powder, a little of the cashmere haze, a little of the hazelnut. You can mix them with other colors to, to mute the pink just a little bit, uh, but don't be afraid of them. They are so beautiful. You, you can wear them even if you're super, super ivory. Yes, and so now I'm doing lash primer. Lash primer is just like all our other primers. They're crucial to getting the perfect lash. Um, it's gonna allow the lash, um, the mascara to really go on smoothly, not get clumpy. This also conditions your lashes, so keeps them nice and healthy. Of course, we get new lashes all the time, but you know, we still want our lashes to be popping. We want them to look healthy and strong. So this is going to be a great prep for our eyelashes. Also, if you wear falsies, like most of us do, um, this is gonna help to allow for everything to kind of mesh together with your natural lashes and the false lash. They're just gonna, whoop, and just look really natural. My brows were too dark. I, by not doing it, looking into the camera, I made them too dark. So I went back with some espresso and I'm lightening them up. You do not dark brows will make you look old and heavy. And now I'm going to soften them because they still look like real heavy. Ooh. So if you have lashes that stick straight out and you curl them, the primer is wonderful, but if you need to hold that curl, it's like putting gel on your lashes to hold them and keep them. Use the waterproof mascara. The waterproof just sticks them like glue and holds that curl all day long. And then you can go use any mascara you want to after that, your favorites. And if you wear glasses, just know, like I said, my brows are not perfect, but when I put my glasses on, glasses, you can wear more, um, more eye color and it's a little bit forgiving because you got another layer to look through. So just know that. You must remove it with your eye makeup remover. With all this that we're doing, y'all, take care of your eyes. And I am one that is not confident in eyeliner. I tend to, you know, one eye looks really good. And then you try to match it up and it doesn't look so good. Um, quick tip is that when you are using our the pen ones, these are perfect because it's just like writing. So if you're a drawer, you're an artist, this is perfect to give you that nice line. I always do a couple of strokes on the back of my hand to clean off any extra eyeshadow that's probably on there so you don't get that dark color that comes out because it was leftover residue from the other eye. And then I go like this to kind of bring it down. And I just start in the middle and I just do small little lines. Make it nice and thin. And then I'll fix it after mascara. I'm about to put my lashes on already. They're still going. Your eyes are looking amazing, y'all. Have you guys tried your micellar pads with your oil-free eye makeup remover? Absolutely. Oh, oh my God. God. About it. <laughs> after, Ooh, after you do that, you will, know, you will never go back to those cotton throwaways again. Right. Your eyes feel so like heaven. They do. So then you need to keep a separate one. How do you keep it? How do you keep track of the separate one? Because you want to use a different I put the micellar water on my eyes. It's not supposed to go on your eyes. Oh, my <laughs> God. It, um, cause a little irritation on my eye or if it doesn't have the word eye in front of it it should not go on your eyes and if you right. haven't tried the meisler water y'all seriously you need to get it there's you need to get it if not for you for your kids especially yeah. if they're in sports if they're in dance for the little girls that wear all that makeup that are in dance mm -hmm. it's the best thing ever yeah i used it on my husband when he came back from his walk i was like this is like it's great. Just fresh, and he was about to go on live, and he didn't have time to, you know, it was. So, I like, like to call it the hand sanitizer for your face, because it literally <laughs> just, you know, it doesn't replace soap and water, but it's definitely, it definitely gets the job done in a pinch, or just pre-rinsing, pre-cleansing. Pre it's yes. excellent. 
I have developed a latex intolerance during COVID from oh, no. use, overusing it. So I'm using a latex free lash glue with vitamin E and um, praying my eyes don't get irritated, but some things are just a showstopper. The doctor said, would you consider not wearing lashes? I said, uh, no. Okay. <laughs> I'll be blind. <laughs> just call me Stevie. I'm going to have my lashes. <laughs> so I just saw a question that somebody asked. Any tips on when you wear glasses on how to put your eyeshadow on or yeah. what it looks like? So I am a, I wear glasses. I am totally blind without my glasses. So it's literally an up close and personal type of mirror. The mm -hmm. more color you put on, it's really going to pop out through your glasses and it's going to look fine. I mean, layer it up really good put your glasses on see how you like it if it's too much blend it out but play the best tip i could give you is to play with your makeup that's the only really good reason or a uh, good tip that i could give you is to just play with your color if you want more color add the more color put your glasses on finish the whole look to see how it looks and you'll be fine Mm -hmm. They have some mirrors that you can literally, some people really need it. There's some mirrors you can hold right in between your hand and get it super close that are super magnified. So, you know, That's work me. with what you got. But when I tell you this thing right here, lash intensity, you don't want to, it's like, right. It's super magnified. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I, yeah, I'm, I'm blind. <laughs> And if you have nearsightedness, like I've dealt with nearsightedness since I was eight, or if you're farsighted or whatever sighted, if you have, you know, if you have to wear bifocals, like if you're super blind like us, like me, and <laughs> I just found out you as well. Yes. <laughs> um, these, this is great for sensitive eyes. I love Mary Kay because they're definitely very hyperallergenic. I have horrible allergies and horrible vision. So like if you're in the same boat as me, you will love our, our products because they are all fortified with vitamins and they're very hypoallergenic and they don't cause irritancy or burning or anything like that. And I can just keep adding layers to my heart's desire and not have to worry about any type of irritation, which is great. So true. Yeah. And even these pink colors, I've had people question, what about the red dye? And I normally have a, a, a irritancy to the red dyes. I have had no problems at all with these. I love our Lash Intensity Mascara. Oh, my word. This is my best friend. I will never leave home without it. I feel like a raccoon without my mascara on. I love how false eyelashes look. I just can't wear them. They feel like they're weighing down my lids, but I can layer up these mascaras and feel amazing. And this is just one coat. And well, then I'm I feel like naked without them. I'm the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> Normally, I put mascara on before and I, I kind of forgot, but it's okay because I do have a little eye irritation, so I might not do both. So um, sometimes I use a tool and sometimes I use my hands, but again, I'm being extra sanitary and using this tool. So do you have the whole eyelash wardrobe? Eyelashes for glamping, eyelashes for going to the store, eyelashes for I your- I wish event. I could show you guys. Yeah, some people say just who does your lashes? I'm like, no, I do my own. <laughs> the literal bottom drawer in my bathroom is all lashes. Yeah. So you can never have too many lashes. And like you lashes, said, you can, every occasion, every, every mood, like, you know, <laughs> yeah. sun's out, sun's not out, snow's out. You can have a lash for every single moment of the day. <laughs> that is hilarious. <laughs> yes, lashes. And guess what? I carry them in. <laughs> this is my Band-Aid when I travel, <laughs> a Band-Aid thing. And then I have my really expensive lashes also that come in. I put my lashes in our little, um, like with the case of this, like what this came in, the little plastic case, I put my lashes in there too. Smart. But I do know which lashes, like I, during COVID, I've kind of lost track because I started ordering from Amazon, but I have a particular one or two pair that I like wear mostly all the time and but i'm going to switch to magnetic i think but i haven't perfected that's it right. Maybe. that's all i use now is magnetics and i'm telling you it saves so much time um, especially for me as an artist having to do several faces back to back you know 
the lashes always what takes the longest because you have to wait for the, the, the glue to dry. And, you know, it's a science. You have to make sure it doesn't dry too much. And then, you know, so with the with the magnetic lash, it's just you just literally draw it on, draw the liner on, stick the eyelash on and you're out the door. It's so easy. I'm just so doing really it up with Lash Love, the waterproof lash yeah. and mascara. Love it. So one of the things that I do is after my mascara is on, because no matter what I did for years, I, I was secretly using uh, brand X mascara because Ooh. no matter what uh, Mary Kay was dropping down on onto here. And I went to some clinic and they said, take a little bit of your translucent powder uh, just on your finger and tap it, tap it in here. And since then it doesn't come down and my, my liners don't come down. So what do you guys do? I use um, Nash Love. I don't have any issues. I okay. love it. Yeah, I don't have any issues. Hmm. Maybe I just have oily eyes. I don't know. Yeah. I cl I have to go back and clean up. I go back and clean up with foundation. I go back and clean it up with... Um, and that's why a lot of people, I mean, makeup artists, that's why they do their eyeshadow first. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I also use a little... Um, the protective pads that you stick here, I have them. I should have brought them there right here. Um, but I use protective pads that you can get on Amazon. I got a hundred pack for like seven bucks and they just stick right here and they catch any fall that we have that could possibly happen here. So that way, if you've already done your foundation, you don't have to worry about touching it up. Then you don't have to do this, what I'm doing right now. <laughs> <laughs> right. And there's not that much fallout with our with our eyeshadows, which is no. right. From a fusion, there's not much fall, which is great. But you get a little. So yeah, I'm just touching that up with the under eye corrector. I'm hmm. going to be done before all of them. I'm going <laughs> back over my lips <laughs> with my little spongy here with just a little bit of extra uh, the residue of my foundation. So my lips aren't too, aren't too pink to start. I'm going to put pink on top of pink. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do on my lips. I'm going to make it up as I go. So let's go. Let's see what we're going to do. I think I'm going to go sheer. So I don't know if you could see now the difference, like how my eyes look. Mascara seriously changes the way your eyes look. When you're putting your eyeshadow on at first, you're like, ooh. I don't know how that's going to look, but when you do your mascara, it just fix everything so much. So play with color, play, make sure you have tons and tons of brushes. I have so many brushes over here, um, but it does fix, change your face. I'm going to do some contour now. These, I hope they bring back because these are amazing. Our contouring sculpting sticks. Oh, they are wonderful. I love them. I'm using sculpted one and I'm just going to kind of do a quick little line. Yes, I use them. I have sculpting. I use one and two. Um, but since they are not available at the moment, what you can do in lieu of that is a few different things. Number one, two different cream to powders, mm -hmm. uh, which are our foundations. Number two, um, two different powder. We, of course, our, we have our contour powder here, right? We have the contour and the highlight. And then number three is concealer. You can use different concealer colors. So like I have my deep bronze here and my light bronze here and I can just contour. So that way, if you're like used to a liquid contour, or if you're used to a dry contour, or if you want something in between with the foundations, you know, we have a variety of ways to still contour without um, having those special sticks, which I pray they bring back Mary Kay. Please. All right, had a little shadow right there. Let's just keep it real, uh -oh. people. Some shadow was still showing. And I'm not talking eyeshadow. I'm talking a different kind of shadow. So, <laughs> uh, so uh, in my VIP page, I tell people how to do a, a threading of their lip stash. Like, we all have a lip stash. You know, let's just keep it real. Go in and thread it out, but do that as well. You can kind of cover it up when you don't have enough time to, to get to it. So is that a concealer or foundation that you put on there? Concealer. Concealer. Okay. I conceal. And I if you're like me and you have very oily skin and you're starting to get oily while you're doing your makeup or maybe even a little sweaty, our amazing beauty blotters can come to the rescue and not take any of your makeup off. Yeah, the oil oil mattifier. Oh yes. my goodness. Especially for you guys in California because I hear it's hot. <laughs> yes. That yeah. oil mattifier saves my life. This saves my life. 
and just gently removes all the oil and the dirt. Well, there shouldn't be any dirt. I just washed my face, but all the oil is gone. The <laughs> shine is gone. But you can also use that after you do your foundation. Sometimes our foundation just kind of sits right there dormant on our face because it doesn't have anywhere else to go. You use those little beauty blotters and peel that off. And if you don't have beauty blotters, some really cheap toilet paper, put on your face and then kind of peel it off. But the beauty blotters are definitely the way to go. Yes. This is just a little highlight. I am, I put nude, the nude on my lips. Normally I use a deep nude, but I put straight up, did the nude and it created a pinkish look. And this one is Whisper. I think this is a classic color. Oh, mm -hmm. I got one of that. <laughs> but I could use nude. This is just what I found. There's the, uh... <laughs> well, I, I did deep nude because I, I have no lip line. I, I, I have to create the lips. They're like gone. Uh, if there's just nothing. There's just nothing there. So I did deep nude and then I did, what I do? Something apricot, always apricot, always mm -hmm. apricot. And then the new um, pink one from the collection. So I'm using the same one. So I did, what is the the um, semi-matte nude? It's blush nude or bashful you? Bashful you. So this is bashful you. I just, this is what came out quickest. So we're gonna do the same thing. Put us on all four. Dorothy? Yeah. So now. I just put some shy blush on my cheeks. Oh, that's my shy favorite. Blush. It just has that shimmer, so you don't have to go overboard with the highlight. And the reason why we do highlight to our face, for those of you that may or may not know, is to make your face look more moisturized. So when you have the right skincare regimen and your skin is properly moisturized, you naturally get that glow underneath your skin. Yeah. Just a little. Little quick tip. All right. So, so I did this and it's a little I, I like a really light pink sometimes, but I'm gonna take the um tawny nude or I'm taking the tawny nude and I'm gonna put on the edges to make it yes, and ombre nude ombre lips are still popular, and so basically. Mm. Creating that illusion of a thick, a fuller lip is when you put, you know, a darker one, not too dark. Um, but I do see the dark lip liner with the lighter lipstick definitely back in, in full effect. <laughs> I never knew it was out because that's the way I always wear my lip color back even in the 90s with the black cherry <laughs> lip liner. <laughs> As close, sometimes even a black liner, I'm afraid to say, yes, I did do that. Um. <laughs> right. I did the chestnut. With the, with the lip glass on top, yes. <laughs> I'm ready to go. I'd have been done 15 minutes ago messing with y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Okay. I what color to do on my lips. Now, some of you will not understand this, and some of you will go like this. But for those of you who are drier and when you're done and you smile and you see little crinkle lines here, you can use your naturally oil, put a couple drops in your hand, put your hands together like that and just go tap, tap, tap on your face. And I know those oily girls are gonna go, I'm not adding oil to my face. <laughs> but for drier people, it's just kind of nice on top when you're all done. It does, it does feel good. Cause I am, I'm like you, I'm dry, 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 dry. So I'll do my cleanser. I'll do some oil, I'll do intense moisturizer, and that's all before getting started, but yes. So I'm gonna do a, a combination of these two lipsticks, the new limited edition. So I'm gonna do the hot pink, and then I'm gonna do the nude. Finishing spray, I have to keep my eyes closed for a second. Let's nude it out. And an X, clean glasses, I'm ready. And a general rule of thumb is you never want to do bold lip and bold eye. Right. Mm -hmm. I kind of want to map this out a little bit. Like, I'm doing a, we did a bold eye and a nude lip. That's the best way to go. Well, it's kind of like that disco ball. If you want to have that clown look, you can. <laughs> Not the best look, but 
we're all individuals. Yeah. And, you know, honestly, there is a time and a place for it because if you're going somewhere fancy, you can go bold all the way, you know, all the way bold, but, you know, it's not the usual norm. Right. <laughs> yes. All right. So I'm actually going to use what color is this one? Lip gloss right on top. And I cannot see it. Nude blush. You know, when you turn 40, <laughs> they don't tell you that your eyes change until I went to the eye doctor. She's like, Can you see this? And I'm like, Oh, I could see it much better. She's like, Yeah, you need reading glasses. I'm like, oh, You're 40. So now I'm like, Whoa. <laughs> Now I know. And I just put my age out there. So yeah. Thank you, Mary Kay. All right. This is just nude blush right on top. Pretty. Just pretty, simple. Pretty. I left my tissue over there or else I would blot. And if I move up, things might fall. Let's look at everyone's look. So this is Vanessa. You look gorgeous. Thank you. And this is the cool eyes. Cool eyes look awesome. Let me see your earrings. Earrings are hot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Yo, Vanessa, looking yeah. like a director. Mm -hmm. And let's see, Camila. Gorgeous. So gorgeous, soft, beautiful. Eyes I are love everything. Your eyes. I love just that space that you have for your eyes. So pretty. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. a, the way you blended it, it's like woo, woo, woo. Okay, and Susie, looking oh, amazing. so pretty, pretty, and, and notice how much higher um, I got all the skin out from here. Mm -hmm. If you look at the before, when you go later, you'll see how droopy. You could hardly; my eyes are almost closed. Big Very difference! Wow, 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 wow! So pretty, and here I go, here I go, here I go. All righty. Mm -hmm. Looking so bad. And you can glasses. see your glasses. glasses. And you can see that you can't tell I have these long old lashes on, but they're really long. Mm -hmm. These are they're not the longest I wear, but they're pretty long. <laughs> they're pretty. How often do you wear double sets? Only when Juliana does my eyes. Okay. But Juliana always does double sets on me. Every picture you see of me. I have a double set of lashes on. If you see, not every picture, the selfies I take myself, but the professional ones, <laughs> this one right here, when I uh, turn my camera off, stop camera. Oh wait, did it, it didn't go. Okay, I thought I was gonna stop the camera. That picture, it disappeared anyways. All the pictures, y'all see the pictures, double lashes. Yes, yes, yes. So this is great. This was fun. You guys look great. We are ready for a hot Saturday, you guys. I get to go to the park and play with my kids on the swing. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Looking hot in the park. Can you say it with me? Limited edition. Yes. You yeah. got to talk to your beauty consultant about how you can get these. Um, everything is limited. I do want to say, you guys, we're in the middle of a pandemic, regardless of what the world is saying, <laughs> what the company, the country is saying. We're in the middle of a pandemic. Our country, our company is saying it. And that means there's things are in limited supply. So yeah. am I telling the truth that these are already sold out? Yeah. Gone. Mm -hmm. Gone. So these are not going to last long. For the clients that are watching, if you didn't get one, your beauty consultant probably has them on hand. So um, these uh, eye colors, they debuted today officially. And so I'm telling you like beard oil for Father's Day, it's just, uh, you better get that stuff because it won't be around for Father's Day, but we'll have it. I'll have it on hand. I just got some in the mail yesterday. So it's one of the benefits, Vanessa, of being a sales director is they got to order it way in April. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> sales directors get it. So you guys, this is what I want you to do. Post a selfie of yourself in the new eye colors when you get them. And I feel like there's a new hashtag we're supposed to be using, isn't there? Is there? I don't care remember what it is. But anyway, it's up right now. Hashtag my MK life. And um those of you in our area know our hashtag is MK Rock Solid. And so just post a new selfie when you play around with these looks. We're gonna do the next time I do um, glamour on self-care Saturday, we're going to do these sea swept colors, which is really, really cool. So I'll be back with some amazing sales directors. I appreciate y'all. Thanks, Susie. Go for your goals. Thank you. We have 
a Fab Five. We are doing Fab Five, you guys, three times a day. It starts today at 6 p.m. Eastern time, 3 p.m. Pacific time. So those of you that are in our national area, make sure you are on it because everyone is becoming Fab Five certified. It's happening three times today, three times Sunday, every single day through next Friday. Vanessa, you were on today, so I'm just going to give you the information. You can um, you can invite folks. This can help you to get the job done. And um, we're excited, y'all. We are really excited about what we're creating and what we're doing as we finish Diamond Circle. Okay? So I will see you guys later. And those of you that are local, I'll see you at 5 o'clock in the park. All right? Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye.